solute, solvent and solutions. Solutions. Do you know sea water contains salt but we cannot see it. Salt has dissolved in it. So sea water is a solution. A solution is a mixture in which substances are completely dissolved. If we evaporate some sea water, we can get back the salt dissolved in it. Solute and solvent. Sugar dissolves in water, but sand does not dissolve. We can say that sugar is soluble and sand is insoluble in water. The substance which is soluble in other substance is called the solute. Here, sugar is the solute. The substance in which a solute is dissolved is called the solvent. Here, water is the solvent. Sugar, solute, plus water, solvent, gives sweet water, solution. Effect of a solute on the volume of a solution. The level remains almost the same. We know that the molecules of a liquid are loosely held together. So, there are empty spaces between the molecules. When sugar dissolves in water, its molecules fill the empty spaces between the molecules of the water. This is why there is no increase of the level of the solution. Saturated Solution if we keep on dissolving sugar in the fixed amount of water, after certain time, it will dissolve no more. Why? The empty spaces between the molecules of the water are completely filled up with the molecules of sugar. This solution is called a saturated solution. Method of Separation There are several methods of separating soluble and insoluble substances from the mixtures. Insoluble substances can be separated by the process of sedimentation and decantation and filtration whereas soluble substances can be separated by the process of distillation. Sedimentation and decantation Add some sand to a glass of water and stir it. Leave it for 15 minutes. Now observe the glass carefully. You will see the sand particles settled at the bottom of the glass. The water above the sand particles is clean. The sand that settles down is called sediment and the process is known as sedimentation. Now pour the clean water into another glass slowly as shown in the figure. The insoluble impurities settle at the bottom of the first glass as sediment. This process of pouring water is called decantation. Filtration. Insoluble impurities can be removed by the process of filtration. Fold a sheet of filter paper into half and then into quarters as shown in the figure. It takes the shape of a cone when we open it. Place it in a funnel as shown in the figure. Place the funnel with the conical filter paper inside the mouth of a bottle. Now pour a mixture of sand water into the funnel. What do you see? Clean water collects in the glass and sand particles stay on the filter paper. This process of pouring water through a filter paper that allows water to pass but not solid particles is called filtration. Distillation This method is best for separating a liquid from a solution. Methods of evaporation and condensation are used for removing soluble substances from water. Evaporate water having soluble substances in a flask by heating and then allow water vapor to condense in a condenser. This process is known as distillation. Know this. Solutions can be a mixture of liquids 
gases and solids.